Okay, so the uh, crossover or median opening sales that are, are available are the so crossover, uh, urban, and rural. You've got a simple curve and then a three centered of both urban and rural. And then you've got a median turn lane, urban and rural there. So we'll go through uh, place placement of a few of these sales. So the crossover, urban, simple curve first. All right, so the right median edge of pavement, that would be the right looking towards the actual crossover so there. The left median edge of pavement. The, then a data point at the crossover location. You know, it would be ideal to put this on some type of line. In this case, there's an alignment coming in right here. So snap there would be ideal. You know, and the reason you want it on the lines, if in case you want to move this median, whether it's a you know a line, a DNC line, or actual alignment, really doesn't matter. So we'll reset, select corridors to be clipped. I'm going to clip that, reset, and accept that sale. All right, then we'll go over a few of the edits here. So selecting uh, this element here, which is called medium width control, CC medium width control. If I want to change uh, that width of the or size of your crossover, that it there will pull pull that nose in. This side over here, you should have the uh, the same thing right there. I'll bump that down to 30 as well. 30 there. Um. Other edits, really about the only thing left. I mean, the the radius is sized based on the median width, so uh, you know I don't really think you'd be you know changing that. Um, really about the only thing that I see as far as edits here would be other than you know linear surface and linear template edits would be like the profile of this element here. So you know if you want to change that grade initially, that's just straight across from edge of pavement to edge of pavement there if you want to come in and put a little sag in there you could do that um, I guess one of the things you may want to do here is actually add a turn lane so you can see right there you've got that turn lane control element and I'm going to actually come over here and select right click and choose the intervals parent is there and then I'm gonna go to properties and looking at the transition offset rule I'm gonna just change that to negative 12 so we'll make room for a turn lane all right now I'm gonna just come in and change this this uh, display to Illustration, ignore lighting. Okay. And then what we'd have to do, need to do next is actually add a uh, median turn lane. So we'll place this cell. So this cell really doesn't place just the turn lane. It actually placed the, uh, the raised median plus the curb on the opposite side as well. Median, median turn line urban. And we're going to select the right median EOP, left median EOP, 
and then uh, I'm going to turn construction class off <clears throat> I'm going to come in and snap to that to tell it where I want to start that, that median cell and that geometry looks good so I'll reset, select core order to be clipped I'll turn construction class back on and clip this reset and accept Okay, so edits on this, uh, so pretty straightforward. I mean, if we want to change that storage length, that's we'll just change that to 100. And you can see that taper just below there, that taper length can be changed as well. Well, so that's, that's an overview of these. Uh, crossover sale that's the urban one the rules pretty similar um, the uh, three centered curve and instead of the simple curves pretty similar to this so you know we won't go over any other other sales there you know the one, I guess the one thing different on the rural on the crossover is you have a couple of elements in the cell itself that you just line up with the shoulder